with all the lights. Hey guys, I'm getting Nancy. We're going to start here in a minute. I'm just finding her. Nancy, Nancy. Where in the world is Nancy Nancy? She's probably your last one since it was the last one you invited. Can I search them? Let's search Nancy. Oops. Seriously. Seriously. Nancy, done. There she is. We're going to invite her. Okay. Nancy's watching. I just invited you, Nancy. Sorry about the light. Oh, there's lights everywhere. There's my head in the way. We're waiting for Nancy to come on. Tonight we're going to do lampshades and outdoor umbrellas. Both of them amazing. Wait till you see them. I, uh... I didn't know you started. Hi, Heidi. Hi. I'm coming. She's coming. It's just turned towards me. I'm waiting for Nancy to come on. Nancy, Nancy. Um, so tonight I'm going to do a faux corrugated steel on a lampshade. Pretty awesome. And Nancy is painting her outside umbrella and then stenciling horses around it. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have fun. So as soon as Nancy gets on and we split screen it, we'll get started. And, um... We're going to pop Christy on at the end. She's got some announcements with new products from Pure Home Paints, which are pretty exciting. And uh says Nancy is watching. Is Nancy watching? I'm going to flip this around, and I'm going to show you what my project's going to look like. This is what I'm going to show you how to do tonight. Corrugated steel look on a lampshade. From that to that, you can't hear me. Hmm. Why can't you hear me? I don't know, Nance. Volume's up. Maybe we need to go out and come back in. Can you hear me now? Why? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Wanda. Wanda, can you hear me? Nancy says she can't hear. That happened last week with Cece. Didn't she have to leave and come back? Yeah, I don't know though. I don't know if people can hear. If you can hear me, will you give me a, hey, yeah, I can hear you? Because maybe we're having technical difficulties. Who knows? Anybody? Now we can. Okay, Nance, I sent you an invite. At least I thought I did. Yes, I did. We're just waiting for Nancy. Heidi's here. Say hi, Heidi. <laughs> I already said hi. So basically what I'm going to teach you tonight is how to make a lampshade that looks like that. Those old... What would you call them? 70s. Seven, they're, they're like fluted, corrugated. Corrugated? Fluted? Pleated? Pleated lampshade. And make it into corrugated tin lampshade. Talk about farmhouse. That's awesome. We'll have to Didn't have get my it. husband build a barn wood lamp. Nancy, you should be able to just go on and request to be on. Because I opened it up. It's coming from Heidi's phone, so I don't know if that makes a difference. So Thanks, Teresa. This is what I'm going to envision here. Okay, Heidi's going to envision something. Oh, that would oh, that would be cute, right? We had my wonderful lamp-making husband. 
Yeah, that would be cool. Bring it down. Yeah. Something. Yeah. I can't turn it the other way, so I'm backing up. But yeah, that would. That looks so farmhouse, man. Rather than, you know, I said, just if we just painted one of these barn wood red, well, but it's too. I think it's too frilly to be. Even if it's red, even if. It's oh, red. maybe not. Maybe not. What do you guys think? If we paint it barn wood red and distress it, do you think that lamp base would be? Or this, I think I like this better. I think I do too. It's clunkier. Maybe we could cheat and just make a sleeve. Yeah, I don't know why we couldn't, right? <laughs> Nance, where are you? <clears throat> We're just playing around. Nancy, Nancy. Add viewers to your broadcast. I did that. I added Nancy. Didn't get an invite. So if you go, if you... Oh, you should have gotten an invite, Nance. I don't know why you didn't. It said I sent you one. Send me a request to be on the broadcast. Is she in the right direction? Are you in the right direction? That's true, too. Out of portrait. Out of portrait. You need to be in landscape. Auto-rotate. On, on Facebook. Sorry, guys. We're working on it. But can you see? I mean, seriously. Does that not look like corrugated tin? I couldn't be more happy with how that turned out. So cool. The only problem with this technique is that if you do it on a flat surface, I don't think you'd get the same feel. Oh, see, that's cute. Still need to be up just a little higher. Yeah, but it's cute. We get the idea. Oh, so cute. I didn't get an invitation. Come on, Nance. That's like so perfect, right? Yeah, once you got a harp and a light bulb in there, it would... Bring it up, yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't know where Nancy is. We're losing our viewers. This is why we start 10 minutes early. Yeah, seriously. Because it's, you know, she can, Nancy, if you just go on and request to be on, I've got it so viewers can send a request to join your broadcast. So you should be able to just request to be on the broadcast. I don't know. I don't know. Viewer wants to be on the broadcast. Here she is. Come on, Nance. Approve her. Add her. People get oh, no, don't do that. Hi guys, we're yeah. back here now. We're yeah. live. I thought you guys did that on purpose. Did what? I thought you like nixed me on purpose. No. Hey, I gotta chose you. Yeah, no, I got it. I got Hey, Alfred wants everybody to see him. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. No, I, I turned the camera around. Now it's on you. Who else is requesting? Okay. Okay, we got you, Nance. Okay. Okay. Hey, that, I'm gonna pass. So let's. Do you want to see what I what we're doing today? Yes. All right okay. here we go. Okay, because we saw what you're doing. And we're, remember, we're talking about things that could possibly be thrown away. Okay, right. so last week, can you hear me? Last week, yes. we um, were talking about doing this umbrella that has been in my, for a year, has been um, outside 
with the sun beating on it, it was red. And, every and now year, it's red? And now, it, well, look at how it was. This was the color it was. It was and red, now, so now it's like super sun faded. Now, yeah, kind of rust. So it drives me crazy to just throw them away every year. So this is what we started doing today. And I'm going to keep painting. But this is what we started doing today with the umbrella. And um, the umbrella paint. Cece, Cece, here. Christy's here. OK, everybody. Everybody that's a Pier Home Paint retail partner, remember to share your link so people know where you are. Um, Okay, Nancy, before you start, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do because mine's kind of dabbly and I won't okay, talk about it. Go ahead, go ahead. It doesn't matter. It's fine. So basically, we're going to do this technique. It looks like corrugated tin on this lamp. Now, I did vacuum it. I didn't wash it with anything, but I vacuumed it real good. Yeah, so <laughs> we all know these lampshades. Flip it over so you can see inside. Yeah. You know? The yuck. But they're going to be awesome. <gasps> okay. Something broke. I think she sneezed. Oh. <laughs> Let me get a broom. <laughs> okay. It's all right. I broke a five hundred dollar lamp the other day. <laughs> Nancy. Okay. So for my project, I'm using Storm Simply Sage. Golden Pool, the new rust color. You, I'm sure you can use smoked paprika. I just happen to have that. And black, Derby. And Derby's watered down like, quite a bit. See, want to know the truth, I think it's poor paint left from a pour, so it might have some pouring medium in it, but you can get it either way. Yeah. Product. Okay. And then I'm also going to use the rest that we used last week for just some highlights. But I'm going to start with a very wet brush and paint storm in sections. I found that it's easier to do it in sections rather than trying to paint everything at a time because it's a lot of dabbing. So those are the colors I'm using. I'm going to start. Nancy, go ahead, because all they're going to do is watch me do it. Oh, She's no, sweeping a flap. Did we lose her? Yeah, she's she's she, she has her hand her hands tied up right now. But as you can see, this is the umbrella that we partially painted. So as you can see that what it was before, and now what you see with adding uh, sailor. So did you paint it or did Nancy paint it, Alfred? Well, I started to paint it, but um, she's gonna continue to do the rest. So listen, when we painted it, it was, um, uh, we added 25% water to the, acrylic, to the acrylic paint. So watered it down a little yeah. bit. And then um, also, Are you it was pretty cool, because we figured out that this entire umbrella will take 32 ounces of acrylic paint if it's watered down. 25%. And it's a huge section. Wow. A big umbrella. Okay, so after it's painted, then the cool part is you, if you buy an umbrella, you never design you never design it or do anything artsy to it. So since I have a ranch, I just thought I would take the stencil and I would stencil Horses all around the umbrella. Sweet. And, and did you do that to the metallic? That, yeah, but I'm going to tell you about the metallic in a second. So, oh. and then I'm going to put the horseshoes, not these horseshoes, but stencil horseshoes up on here all the way around. So it'll be totally very cute. cute. So, whatever, whatever you want to put on here, you could put on here and design your own umbrella. For less than you're going to buy a new one, and yeah. this is not this is not going to fade. 
if you don't have any fading over the years. So if you take a close up, so so we also have something to introduce today because we have there's a new like paint that Christy's going to talk about, but. So I, what I did was I took the hardware opulence and I took the new metallic paint in, in uh, copper and you can see the difference. Can you see the difference? Can you see the yeah. difference on there? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. there's a difference between this, like the hardware opulence is like a glaze and this is the new paint. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. Sweet. And you know, the other thing I was going to say is, even at, at, if you go at end of season when the umbrellas are really cheap and marked down, even if you don't like mm -hmm. the color, you can buy it and paint it. Absolutely. And so you could also even do the other umbrellas, your individual umbrellas that you're going to, you know, that you use in the rain. So I, know. Uh, I got or one. No, really or sleet good. or hail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, are you using the fabric paint or are you, you the fabric magic? Is that what you called it? Or are you just using regular paint? The, the brush? No, your paint. Did you add fabric magic to it? The paint, the paint is, oh yeah, no. Because this is what I used. When you, did, when you did cushions, this you did. I, last week, I did the pigments and the fabric magic. Okay. Or not last week, the week before on the cushions. But this week, I um, decided that I wanted to try the paint watered down a little bit. But you could Very use good. the fabric magic and the pigments. Absolutely. But the other thing that really was worrying me was that this paint, and that's one of the reasons I chose the paint over the um, pigment and fabric magic, because I thought it was going to soak through and then discolor the underneath side so that if the umbrella's out and you're sitting under it, you see all these blotches, but it didn't happen. So the underside is all, it's all, it's perfect. It's all clear and red and nice. So that's really good. This did not soak through. And it's nylon, whatever, nylon polyester. Yeah. So it's good. So a bunch of good experiments today. In yeah. The kind of product and the kind of product here. So both of these, both of these metallics have a purpose. It's just you decide what you want to use them for. Right. I'm just dabbling all kinds of layers of paint. So I'm just I'm listening to you. I uh I got an umbrella today to try and then when I opened it, it wasn't a good umbrella. So I was gonna do a pour on it. Because <laughs> that's what I like to do. But anyway. These are just colors, like I said, Simply Sage, um, Golden Rule, the new rust, Storm, and Black watered down. And the only reason that I put the Golden Rule and the Simply Sage on is because it gives it a little more depth. I tried it just plain Storm and Black and Rust, and it just wasn't doing it for me. So. And really, there's no rhyme or reason. You just kind of have to play with it till you get it moldy in where you no, want it to go, how you want it to look. No, this doesn't need to be sealed. This does not need, to be, need to be sealed. It doesn't need to be sealed. Cool. And also, the new metallic paint, the one I said that Christy's going to talk about, um, it doesn't yeah. need to be sealed either. It's a total huge gloss. So... And how many, well, I guess, we'll let Christy talk. So what's been going on in California? And also, just so you know, with this look, it dries like that. So, you know, you kind of have to play with it because it does dry darker. 
So both ladies tonight, if you're just joining us, all of a sudden we have seven, eight people. Nice. Um, they're both painting fabric. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's... <laughs> and always using Christy Kuehl Pure Home Paint products. Everything we use is non-toxic, DSC-free. I think I just lost Nancy. You know what? Take this. I'm taking it. Whoops. Sorry. Hold on. I'm going to go turn off the radio and see if that's cool enough. Oh, maybe. Nancy's on a, on a uh, hiatus. We lost her. She's frozen. We just lost her. Nancy is missing in action. Let's see if I can get her back. So anyway, this is where I am. I'm just adding layers and layers of color to my layup shade and it's really kind of a work in progress that's why i worked in little sections because it's easier to get all your blending and stuff done because i'm adding nancy <clears throat> but seriously i even sent a picture of this to my husband and he was like what are you going to do with that steel i'm like it's a lamp shade it's awesome says I'm adding Nancy, but I don't know. Nancy's missing in action. I'm telling you, it's so hard to uh, hold the camera and work your piece. <clears throat> no answer from your live video guests. Did you... Christy, no, I didn't seal it. I was thinking, um, I was thinking about sealing it with a mat, but I don't know that I need to. I mean, it's a lampshade; it'll get dusted, but I don't know. It's pretty cool, like it is. I like the, I like the chalky look of it. What's your, CJ Nancy is just painting. Oh, um, I don't know. Do you think I need to seal it? I don't think I do. Okay. Come on, Nance. I've approved you. Add her. It keeps telling me no response. Huh. It's fabric, Christy. I don't think I need to seal it. It must be on her end because I'm watching you fine. Yeah. Well, we just lost her. We'll just do ours till she comes back. Yeah. If she figures out. I've, I've accepted her several times, but I don't know why I can't get her. There's a little red button there. If you watch this, Rella says seal. Approve her. Add her. Rella, would you just seal it with a mat? Finish. See if Rella ends. So here's unsealed. Yeah, but it, it, it's not dry. It's not completely because it's fabric wet still. So I wouldn't seal it anymore. Nancy's back. Hello. Well, actually, I think it's Alfred, but I don't think Nancy has a mustache. Yeah. No, no, I was flipping the camera oh. around. Hello, okay. we're back. Okay. Are you back? We're here. It's, it's hey. Yeah. This whole thing is not it's easy. So we had to leave the site and then get back on again, but we're on. Well, we're here. So, we were we were talking about whether I need to seal this lampshade. And I was no. thinking, no, Rella, Rella said to seal it, so I'm thinking maybe I should seal it, because Rella knows more about it. Yeah, but you know what? You can see, you know, sealing it is what, two things, as we know. It's for protection, and it's also to make it pop. And if you're just putting a very light coat of uh, varnish on it, that's probably really good for both of those reasons, and it only takes yeah. a second to do it. 
So right, and I would put a mat on it because yeah, I don't want it to look. Well, I don't Absolutely. want it to look shinier. Steel. Well, okay, wait. I can it. I? Uh, I'd like to show about the tackifier, the pure tack. Go ahead. The pure tack, because okay. that's what I use to put my horses on the umbrella. So I don't know who's used it or who hasn't used it. But I um, have never used it. You haven't? Okay. No. Nope. So, so I don't do a lot of stenciling. Okay, what this is, it's a repositionable adhesive. And what you use it for is to use, instead of the spray, which is toxic, and, or the blue tape, which is a pain in the neck. So what you do is you take your stencil, you take the pure tack, and all you do is take the brush and then just quickly wipe it on. And what happens is it dries really sticky, and you just on the fit, you let it dry. And you can actually wash it with soap and water. And it's probably good for like six applications. Wow. And it's just specifically for stencils. No, no, it's not. You can use it for like if you have two pieces of fabric or if you don't, if your hem came out of something and you wanted to uh, a hem something really quick, you can use that for that. Um, I did try to put it through the wash, and lot. it doesn't stay through the wash. So, um, there's a, anything that you want to stick, but it's not going to stick, like, forever. But it's, it's not permanent. Um, right, Nan? Right. Yeah. And it is, but it is washable. So, and so, like, on the fabric, that's where I was putting that stencil. I put it on there. And the problem I have with the with the umbrella is it's kind of uncomfortable. It's much easier if you, if you put a stencil, no matter what it is, on a on a hard surface. And this isn't really a hard surface, but it works. It works. It's good. So the tackifier. So, does anybody have any questions about that? No, I've never heard of that before. I think that's pretty awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome because you know, health and safety, and you're not inhaling all the aerosol from the spray, and um, it's easy. Multiple use, it will last forever. It's already sticky. Then you're just going to flip it over and put it on whatever you want to put it on, and, and it, it's really hard, so you don't have anything running underneath the stencil for bleeding purposes. Oh, that's a good point. And here's really well. That's it. But then it doesn't leave, like, if you're going to stick that on your fabric, it doesn't leave sticky stuff back on your fabric? No, it doesn't come off. Once it dries, and it, well, here it doesn't take long to dry, but um, once it dries, like, this is almost dry, it won't peel off. And it doesn't leave residue on your piece. Does it, does it leave residue on your piece? No, 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 no. Uh-uh. Hey. Cece wants to know, then, how do you get it off of your stencil when you're done? You get it off of your stencil? Yeah. Soap and water. You just wash it with soap and water. Very nice. Or, I mean, if you want, otherwise you just... Like here, I can just take it when I'm done and put it on the back side and then just leave it and then it'll peel off for my next use. Um, oh, and it doesn't dry out? What'd you say? I can hear it. It, it blurred out. It doesn't dry out? No. Does it, no. It doesn't dry no. out. No. Uh -uh. It stays sticky. Yeah. Stay sticky. It dries. But it dry, it dries. I have a million questions because I've never like, heard of such an animal. I don't, I don't think you can see it. But up here is already dry. And it's just, it's sticky. 
people who use stencils and things like that probably know exactly what it is. <laughs> right. I'm like, I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah, well, Very I, cool. you know, the whole environment and health and safety is so important to me that, especially with sprays, because we don't use anything with sprays. So this was, this was important. Yeah, because I, I bought some of that stencil spray stuff. First of all, it was a mess because it sprayed everywhere. It could have been operator error, but I, you know, it was still a mess. Well, and the thing is, you spray it, half of it's going into the air, half goes onto your stencil. And for one thing, it's a waste of money. Number two is, you know, it's not helping the environment and you're inhaling it. Nancy, my husband bought another car. Another oh my car. God. Oh, by the way, let me just do it. I did a, I did a car wash. But Very car, nice. Car wash was for Primo. Primo. So That's he was. We were talking. We were talking about Bondo again. So do you you have a car Bondo? Do we have a what? Bondo. Bondo for his car for the rusty holes in his car. The Bondo. Oh, the Bondo. Oh, yeah, that's what uh, we were talking about. That Bondo. Do you want to turn that? No, I want to put this one up. This one seems to be. Yeah. Do you need a Do you need a test? There's a delay. We got a delay. It's not gonna work. All I'm getting is Nancy's boobs. Sweet. Alfred's doing it. <laughs> I was fixing the cameras. <laughs> uh huh. We had right. Another technical glitch. <laughs> We're getting a, a like a blur of voice. Yeah, we couldn't hear too well, so he's trying to fix it. This was supposed to be done for Father's Day. Oh, well, you're close. Oh, you're very close. It'll be done. Oh, by so, the way, after, all of the six cushions, that the blue cushions are done, and I probably used two pigments, which is two ounces, and maybe 16 ounces max of fabric magic and the rest water, and that those cushions were big cushions. So, and I bet you, you know, saved a lot of money. And they look great. Once this gets done, I'm going to put it up, and then I'll take a picture of the cushions and the umbrella. So, yeah, oh, Deanna's talking about her camper. She just washed her camper, and everything's good. My son, or my husband painted, my husband painted my son's truck, and it has lasted an Iowa winter, driving everywhere. Um, and then we have... Dana is wondering what we're doing. So let's just talk about what you're doing again, Carrie. I am making lampshades look like corrugated steel. So one of these nasty ripple, not nasty, but oh, ripple. Like yeah. 70s pleated lampshades. And she's just using regular paints. And just dab. I did just spray some of the stuff, Tina, stuff we talked <laughs> about last week on it. There's beans. Yeah. Say hi, Beans. Hi. But I'm just... Oh, we have a, a, a kitty cat. We do. Oh, Beans. that's an adorable cat. <laughs> She's the best. Is that Dana Spearfloggy? Oh, it's um Dana. Oops, I just turned it around. Hi. How do I turn it back? <laughs> hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, my husband just bought this 1977 banana yellow El Camino. <laughs> and so he was asking me about the derby paint because he wants to paint the seats and the dashboard. So the vinyl dashboard has a very large crack in it. What oh, would you you need Bondo? Well, no, yeah, the Bondo would be for the rust hole. 
But you could use no, no, the, the then you know what out we could you should use the eco epoxy. That's what I that was my suggestion to use the epoxy and um fill that hole in because it's paintable. Yeah. And then you're gonna and then you'll just paint the derby over the top. Perfect. It'll be fine. Perfect. It'll be perfect and easy. May We'll have to do but live that, someday. That pure bond is, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. We'll do live I from the El Camino. He, he tells me that this is the vehicle he's always wanted his entire life. And so maybe this is the last car he'll buy. I don't know. I doubt it. So he's going to leave it yellow? Um, not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> it might have some racing stripes. Nice. <laughs> well, there's plenty of, you know, plenty of paint for racing stripes. What's some flames? Yeah. Don't take Iowa by storm. Yeah. Fire flames. <laughs> One thing I do want to tell you real quick about these lamps when you're doing these, and I haven't been doing it. You need to get in these little grooves up here, just as you go around. Otherwise, you can go back and do them. But so you guys have a couple of good uh, lamp stands that those lampshades can go on, right? I think I love the box one. I think we're going to have my husband rather than we thought about taking a brass lamp here and painting it barn door, right? And rustic. But I think if I have my husband turn this pillar, this barn wood pillar into a lamp, I think that looks even better. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah, talk about, talk about awesome. farmhouse. I mean, yeah, even the edges the way yeah. it out looks like steel. No, but look at those lamp shades are totally one of a kind. Totally one of a kind. I'm a great yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a water down storm base that I'm putting on them. Bring it up on the table. It out. See, our lampshade here is actually, it's got that hard vinyl inside, so it's not soaking through. And it, it does have to have a repair done on it. What if I push the other table together? I tried doing that, but. Well, this will work. I just got to get some more paint. So the Nancy's umbrella, is it kind of a canvas? It's, um, I think it's nylon and polyester. Which, I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, it works. Um, I mean, it's not, I think canvas would probably be better, but it's not going to crack. What do you seal the lampshade with? I think I'm going to seal it with a matte finish, Kimberly. Will the paint work for a shade that has double-sided fabric? Yes, we've got one that I painted. Oh, actually, that's where she's going. Heidi's going to go get you another lampshade that I did. Um, and I did paint the inside because it did bleed through. I got a little wet, but... Oh, that's interesting. But you, I, you just paint the inside just one color? With a cat. <laughs> so this is one that I did. It's got the shimmers on it, if you can see. But I did paint the inside of it. I don't know if you can see. There you go. That's a better light. But it's just kind of streaked. It's got um, minor blue. Um, minor blue, I think bygone blue and then the navy shimmer over it so yeah she did paint the inside fabric as well but then on this one i'm not painting the inside. no the inside of this one is that hard plastic yeah careful don't break so, um, oh my goodness so my favorite one of my favorite stores is Anthropology, And every day I get an email 
on, you know, whatever they are showing for that day. And today, it was because it was a 20% off sale, and they had a chair, it's a bright pink chair, with stencils all over it. It was awesome. Oh, that's cute. It was awesome. And it was $800. Oh, sweet. Tiny little chair. So, you know, I mean, you could do it for 20 <laughs> Right. That's Especially with the pacifier. Cece says if you don't overwet it, it won't bleed through, which is great until you overwet it and accidentally bleed through. <laughs> That's what happened with this one. Yeah. There was no intention of painting the inside of that lampshade right. until, oops, too much water. I overwet it. You're right. Yeah, but you know what? This whole thing is a learning experience. So once you do it, then you learn. All right. No, I think it's awesome. And have you done one before, Nancy? Hi. Done one, what, umbrella? An umbrella before. I have never done an umbrella. The extent that I had done was um, uh, three years ago, I did a, um, outdoor cushions, but different outdoor cushions than I did a couple weeks ago. And they're still going strong. And those were, that was yeah, on Yeah, because that's. That's the thing, you know, we always say we can paint anything, but then we got to test it. So we've tested some vehicles, then that paint's holding up pretty darn well. Yes, it is. Well, that's the thing. Everybody's it's afraid anyway to use anything on paint. And so look at, I mean, look at what we're doing. This paint, honestly, oh, not, it oh. even amazes me. I even after anything. all the research I've done and everything, it still amazes me. We tried painting at least everything once. We've, we've had some, oh no, that doesn't work. Sorry, I'm getting in here to get this. Carrie's even wearing a shirt that we tie-dyed. How long ago? Two years ago? At least. And wrote, look, I wrote my name you, on it. Is that one you tie-dyed? Yeah, with vibrant splatter. I have a couple that I wear most pajamas, and my son wears one all the time. I know I wear and we, tie dyes all the time. We use the gel stains, the um, the vibrant splatter. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Just like you would use any other tie dye thing, where you get it wet and then you. Drip it, drizzle it on, and let it soak, and tie it up with tie it up bands. with rubber bands. The thing is, you, you don't have to rinse it though. I don't know if you guys rinse, but you don't have to rinse. We did some. We did both. Right. We rinsed some, and we didn't like how it kind of muddied it a little bit. And then the other ones, we just let dry, and it was fine. Yeah, and this has been through the washing Yeah, you know, you don't need to rinse it. But then you don't have no, to worry Cece, about losing all that. Cece power. says that she didn't seal her lampshades, and I think that sealing things is completely up to you look-wise, you know? It's well, not it a necessary thing. It depends on how much wear and tear you're going to get on whatever you're doing, you know? Like, right, but on a lampshade, surely you're not going to get much wear. There's no there. reason to seal this. I just, I, I think if I seal the lampshade, I'm going to lose the tin look of it, even if I put a mat on it, because it looks chalky, you know? It looks, you know, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, but I think if you watered down the varnish a little bit, then it wouldn't, it would be, a, you'd make a, have a much thinner coat. Okay. I think that you could probably just do a line or two, a brush stroke or two, and see how it looks. Seal one and not the other. Oh, yes. And how am I going to sell them as a pair? Oh. <laughs> one goes on the left and one goes on the right. I mean, the only thing lampshades get are dust. So I don't think you really have to worry if you didn't want to do it. Yeah, prep on these was a vacuum. Yes, sir. <laughs> Definitely. It was a vacuum. You're right. 
And I'm seriously, like the colors I told you, um, Sage, Golden Rule, The New Rust, Derby Watered Down, and Storm. I'm just going over and over and layering. So, and as it dries, it gets darker. You can see. But it's really, it's the so. There's so it looks no, like corrugated metal, and it's not. I know, but it's awesome. It's, I love this because look, it even looks like corrugated metal. Where you yep. finished it? Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. But the thing about this technique and this look, you have to have something with ridges to get the look because I don't think you'd get the same no. feel if it was on a flat surface. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Others may think different. But you could probably use more water. Mm -mm. And then I am spraying, after I've kind of got it where I want it, I am spraying it with the new rust patina. patina. Just kind of adding a little more so to I it. I think Christy's watching, right? Yeah. yeah. Is Christy watching us? Yes. Does Christy want to come on and um, explain the new product? Maybe we, we can bring her on. Oh yeah, let's let's. Show Ellie's watching. Of, let me show the picture. Of the, okay, that's a good idea. So, folks, as we come over here, we're going to see the new product. Alfred. This is our new the new metallic paint. So from here, I'll show you. We've got russet, bronze, black, gold, copper, and silver. Heavy duty, heavy duty powders in there. And it is different than the, the shimmer, the opulence. You know, and that might look nice on an El Camino. <laughs> Mary, we're not sealing the umbrella, just paint. And yes, Anita, just I am painting an old umbrella that was going to be thrown out. I think it's 96 here, too. It's hot. Is Anita on? She was. I wonder if Nancy, Nancy, do you get different comments than we get? I don't know. No, the same comments. Oh, I didn't get to read them before. Did you see a comment from Anita? Anita, share your link. Everybody oh, yeah, share Chrissy. your link. Chrissy says metallics on the car. Yeah. Oh, I should put it over the ra I should put it on each side of my black racing stripe in the on the hood. There you go. I could put gold. It'll be like that, ooh, ooh, you know, he wants to do flat black. Maybe he wants to do metallic black seats. Like that old metal flake, you know, the color of a, of a, um, like old dining chair. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And sorry. I said that before, but I don't know if you remember that um, the metallic colors don't need a top coat because... It already is in there. So that paint is shiny and metallic, and it's a finish in itself. So do you think, Nancy, so, even if he used it on the car, he wouldn't need to seal it? No. No. Hmm, interesting. We did. Did we seal it? Oh, with the gel, with the... Uh, uh, oh, the shimmer opaque? Oh. Oh. So it's been a busy few weeks, you guys, because we've got the patinas, we've got the rust. Kitty says she can't wait to get the metallics. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good. Everybody. You have no idea what you're going to paint the metallics on, but. Why can't you paint? You can paint them on anything. That's that's proof <laughs> right now. You know. Right, do a lampshade. 
you know, that's what the cool thing about this paint line is. We have everything. And if we don't have it, just ask. If, if there's something it, you want. Right, that's what I'm saying. If we don't have it, just ask. Nancy can develop anything. You know what? And here, let me just let me just say this because someone came in today and she was talking about to someone uh, an, another potential um, person that wants to, to maybe carry some carry some paint um, in Idaho, and she was saying, you know, it's not just a fly by night paint company. I've been doing this and doing research with my chemist for over 20 years. So right. it's really amazingly safe. It's not something that we just jumped into a year ago or six months ago. It's a long time in coming. Uh, right. And a lot of these products that we're coming out with new in the Pure Home Paints line, you developed how many years ago? You know? So right, years ago, like even the metallic paint, I had, you know, I've done, I did that 10 years ago. So it's not right. like I just, so we're just putting a, a, I have a lot of formulas a new, and the patina yeah. the same way. You know, I had the formula from before right. because things, you know, as we all know, things, things cycle. So, you know, 15, 20 years ago, metallics were huge. So you've got that. Then right. they go out of style, and then you've got metallic, you know, stuff again. And my thought in introducing all of these other things other than just furniture paint is that um, for partners and everybody to be ahead of the game, I think that at some point, maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll be a year, maybe two years in the future, it's going to be saturated. And what's going to be next for... For the boutiques, why not make it a full function um, art place? And then you can do right. so many things in addition to the furniture paint. So you're ahead of the game. And that's how it right. seems to have to be in arts and crafts and do it yourself. You want to stay ahead of the game. Right. And that's what I love because I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like to paint furniture, but I like doing stuff like this much more. <laughs> Because I get to be creative, you know? I can only paint so and many that's light like dresses. Like on anthropology, every day I go, oh my God, we could do that. And it's not $2,000. Yeah. It's not $1,000. And it's, we've made it our own. So you, if you look at right. a, a place like that store, it's funky stuff. But it's funky stuff that we can do. So I love it. Love it. Right. And for... for partners who retail Christy Kuehl Pure Home Paints I love saying that um, it, there's so many opportunities for classes like look at this, this is a class man Don't, you can't tell me people wouldn't love to be able to paint a lampshade to look like corrugated steel totally and put it in their true. farmhouse look. you know That's totally true, absolutely yeah and the absolutely. more you know the more um they're exposed to what they can do with it, the better off everybody is. They're like, oh, I can do this. I mean, I still have people come in today and say, oh, I can, I can paint this. Oh, yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> you know, the other thing about this is it's, you know, it's, so, well, we've talked about it. I mean, being able to put it on cars and put it on anything is amazing. But also the compatibility of all of the products so they're all interchangeable. You're not going to have to worry about anything like bubbling or popping off or anything because they all work with each other. And that's huge because in years right. past, I've had right. worked at companies that, you know, that's happened and it's not fun. And to try and explain that away is not fun. Yeah, I want to do retreats. I want to do. Would people come to Iowa to learn how to paint from Carrie? Um, but the, the nice thing, too, is that um, in the settings that most of or all of our retailers are, it is a one-on-one -on -one setting. So you actually get to speak to a person who knows 
what they're selling you, not where you're going to Lowe's and your gardener is selling you chalk paint. Don't understand that. So, you know, it takes, it takes, yeah, your plumber, your plumber is telling you how to faux finish a drawer. Um, so it's so nice to offer everything that you need to complete a project. Like Nancy said, it's, you, you don't have to go get this product to finish it or, you know, this product to add to it and everything works together and it's a one-stop shop. And I think that makes the customers happier too. They don't have to drive all over and, you know, go get this there and go get that there. And I don't know about the other partners. That... I think when we talked about this, that's one of the main reasons that we were doing this was because, because we are here to answer questions and we're here right. to, you know, if there's any problems and be proactive and show what the possibilities are. I mean, it could be any, it could be anything. You know what? I think right. it's time for Christy to, uh, Okay. Face. I'll bring think? her on. I'm good with that. Okay. Sister, get ready. Okay. I'm gonna bring. Okay, you guys. Thanks for listening. Bye, Nance. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay. We need to send Christy an ad. We're waiting for Christy. My paint is drying while I'm waiting. We'll see if she can figure out the the technical part of being added. I'm spraying more rust because I love the look of the rust. Says we're adding her. Yeah, Kitty, you need to tell us all about the retreats. There she is. <laughs> Look, I dressed up for the occasion. Wow. Oh, I'm cooking dinner. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'm walking through the house. Look, I don't have kitchen cupboards on the top yet. That's all right. It's still looking good. I'm going to swap around so everybody can say hi to baby Jace. There's Bacchus. What are you doing, Bacchus? Jace is eating dinner. Hey, Jacey. Hi, Jace. So, so I obviously am not partaking in the, um, I'm not partaking in the, uh, the, the how gym? to lives yet because I've been working on this project along with everything else in this house that, uh, is keeping me a little bit out of the loop as far as being able to do things for fun. But I did want to just make a, a, an appearance tonight to tell everybody um, that, you know, I know we've launched a lot of new products and it can be overwhelming. And um, I don't want my, my retail partners to, to get overwhelmed, but I do encourage everybody to be proactive and, you know, since Kitty's joined the, um, since Kitty's joined the team, she's really opened up a world of artists, you know, who do a lot of things that are outside of the box other than um, just painting furniture. And that's always what we wanted for the line was that um, a place where you could come and buy absolutely everything that you need in one place that you know is safe, that you trust, that you know, you're not buying some of our products, and then we're telling you to put, um, you know, urethane over the top of it, or spray paint, or whatever. So, you know, we've been kind of almost daily. Kitty, Kitty says, "Hey, can you do this? Hey, can you do that?" And of course, we can do it. So, you know, I encourage any of you guys, even if you're a customer, that if there's a product that you love that's not safe that you're using, reach out to us. And let us see if we can if we can make one. And I have to be honest, because Nancy is so amazing that most of the time, 90% of the time, 100% of the time, the products that Nancy develops are even better than the products that aren't safe. So it is 
a win-win for everybody. So I've really embraced um, Kitty, Nancy, and I are going to her next retreat in August. And we're going to learn some stuff because you guys know my thing is paint and furniture. I am not a, I am not a stenciling, uh, tackifying uh, girl. But that doesn't mean that I don't want don't want to. I just never have um, gotten into that. So um, I want to. You know, I want to. I'm going to make sure that that we're offering you guys the best products that you can get on the market that um, perform or outperform what's out there now, and that you can rest assured that your kids are safe, that your pets are safe, that um, you know you don't have to worry about your airspace. So the metallics are launching next week, and sorry, my dog is sniffing in the fireplace. Um, the the um, metallics are launching next week, as well as we're going to be um, repackaging or, or doing some different packaging on some of the pouring mediums, the the silicone oil and the um, the actual pouring medium, so that you guys can get it in uh, a different in a different. Um, Besides having to buy a kid when trying to spit out. So anyway, uh, I really, really, really hope that you know you guys will try something new. And um, I agree with Carrie. I'm telling you, the classes for the lamps are almost a no-brainer. I could go to the thrift store in downtown Newbury, South Carolina, right now, and probably get 40 lamps for two bucks a piece, and with a shade. And the transformation. I mean, just look at the blue one. I mean. And and people really embrace that because lamps are not cheap. No. Those are perfectly good lamps. Now somebody asked what color the blue that was on that base. Did we answer? It's minor blue with the blue shimmer over the the navy shimmer over the top. There you go. Minor blue with the with the navy shimmer over the top. So Baka, sit. Sit. Stop. Sit. Baka is having a cow because I'm cooking dinner. Bucky. Well, anything else you got to... No, I, I mean, I really don't, I really don't have anything. Um, I don't really have anything else that I... Dinner looks good. Thanks, Nancy. We're having chicken and uh, vegetables and rice. Um, I don't really have anything that... Uh, <laughs> Here, pet cam. Here comes other kitty. Oh yeah, they're look at it's pet hour. It's pet hour at uh, Pure Home Paint Live, and there goes Paisley. Um, a lot of the new products I haven't gotten my hands on yet, to be quite honest, because as most of you guys know, I've been moving across the country, and the last six weeks we've been here for about four weeks, a little five weeks, about five weeks, have just been a blur because we have been um, working on the house and the yard. It, it, I just can't even get into it. It's been a, it's been it's been overwhelming. So I mean, I haven't even I've painted one piece of furniture since I've been here for me for my house. I'm having furniture withdrawals. I hate painting walls. Although using our wall paint is amazing, like yes, amazing. Is. So you know, here's the here's the here's the 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 issue with some of this. You know, it's easy for me to get products. Um, on the market, but whenever we get a new product, that means we have to make a new label. I have to get, you know, um, add it to the marketing material. We've been working on a, on a brochure for just the whole line that will include a color chart and information on all these new products that's gonna be for the customers, that's gonna be amazing. But every time we add something new, I gotta have, I gotta add more to it. So there's a lot involved in, besides just saying, hey, can, can you do this? Yes, we can, but we have to have at least 10 days to, to get it ready. So um, your patience is much appreciated. I know a lot of people have messaged me about the wall paint and we're working on labeling and um, trying to figure out how we're going to package it as far as a can um, to ship. So that's all going to be coming really, really soon. It'll be available on the website. Um, so just be patient. But if there's anything that you need, that you can't wait for, always reach out to us. I mean, we'll, we'll get it to you in some way, shape, or form, as long as you are uh, patient. 
Location. I know a lot of you have been asking me about my kitchen cabinet, and I, I do want to just show you, this is the after, the bottom part, and this is the before. They were the ugly little plain white, no, no, nothing painted with latex paint, so I'm having to sand all that out because someone painted them horribly with latex paint, but I am so pleased. My neighbor came over, and he I was painting, and he's like, what kind of paint you use it? It doesn't, it doesn't smell. I go, I know. And he goes, and it feels really good. I'm like, yeah. So his wife is pregnant and they're having a baby and he's going to start painting his kitchen cabinet soon. So um, I just encourage you guys to, those of you that haven't tried the products, especially the paint, give it a try because I mean, it really is amazing. And I painted this the purest white. It's alabaster, which is a, uh, is a, uh, funny because that's the one color that I always tried to talk people out of when they did kitchen cabinets. But now I'm rambling because I don't get any adult conversation anymore because all I do is work on the house. But um, in the coming weeks, I'll be doing some lives as well. I just, I, I have been so busy. It's, you can tell, no makeup. My hair is up on top of my head. I'm chasing around dogs and feeding a baby. So, um, but I do, like I said, I do encourage you guys to Try the products, and I am really, really excited about the metallic. Jason, can you say bye bye? Hey, can you say bye bye? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. No, he says I'm eating my rice. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang up now. Okay, I'll let you go. Okay, well, like I said, you guys, any questions, you just reach out to us. We're, we're, we are always here. Well, for sure. We'll see you next Thursday. Okay, Same I time. love you, Sissy. I love you, too. Talk to you later. All right. All right. Bye. So now I'm going to turn this. Okay, so here's where I am. It's still drying, but they look amazing. They look so cool. Um, but what I wanted to tell you was next week we're going to do um, a product. It's our Surface Crack. Um, I'm not real sure what Nancy and I are going to come up with, but that's a product we're going to highlight. And we appreciate you guys watching us every week. Um, I know sometimes we're a little scattered, but we really try to get our points across. We're real. We're not a TV yeah. show. <laughs> we are real people. Um, and if you have any questions, if you're watching this in the, like, the replay, please... Um, Feel free to ask any questions. We'll be answering them, and we will see all of you next week. Remember, you can paint safe anything. Look at how awesome. Thanks, guys.